Greetings Retroheads and welcome to a Monday stream here on Platform 32 and it's a very exciting day because I've got my hands on two brand new Evercade carts. Uh, hold on, can I bring up the p secret, this password screen here if you don't know, this is for when I do custom PUBG matches uh, on Fridays, but uh, it's also good for showing you close-ups of things. Uh, so yeah, the two brand new carts, these came out at the beginning of the month, so I'm a little late covering these, but they are two, you can tell from the purple on them, that they are two of the cart, the arcade carts that um, are for the, whoa, Evercade Versus, one of them is now <laughs> halfway across my room, so I'm going to have to pick that up in a second, uh, but yes, this is uh, Jalico Arcade 1, and the other one is, um, and I... I struggled to pronounce it. It's like either Gale Co or Jail Co, um, depending on how you like those letters to go around. But um, that's Gale Co uh, Collection Arcade 2. Uh, I actually really liked Gale Co uh, Arcade 1 and played a lot of the games on it off stream to completion. Um, and today I'm going to be diving into these cuts, which I haven't even opened yet. So you're going to get first impressions of me opening them. Um, you're going to whoa! You're going to you're going to get first impressions of me opening them. Um, but yeah, these are mainly. So if you if you're not familiar with the Evercade, uh, you got red carts like red boxes, which. I kind of for the handheld system, and they're they're often ports of games, either old Amiga games or console games. Um, these arcade carts, the purple packaging ones, are the actual arcade versions of video games that you may have played back in the day on the actual arcades. Um, I don't think I've played actually any of these games on the actual arcade, but if you've been looking at my Twitters today, you'll know that I'm very excited to give Rodland a go, because I used to love Rodland on the ZX Spectrum, and then after that on the Amiga. A little bit of crackle to my audio. I wonder if that's my um, HDMI cable being a bugger. Um, anyway, so... We got those two today, the Galico or the Galco cartridge or the Jailco cartridge. Let's go let's go um, let's get the big one on. Maybe I should do a, I should make a custom scene for these <laughs> at some point. So the Galco cart has uh, six games on. It's got Big Karnak, World Rally 2, TH Strikes Back. That stands for Thunderhoop. I think we played Thunderhoop in the last one. Uh, Maniac Square, which is like a puzzle game. There's a squash game, uh, as in the sport. And there's also something called Touch and Go, which I presume is a game about really needing a poo in a shopping centre and trying to find the toilet. Uh, and then the uh, Jalico one has 64th Street, A Detective Story, Avenging Spirit, Psy Battler, EDF, Earth Defence Force, P-47, The Phantom Fighter, Rodland, St. Dragon, and the Astania Astanax. The only two, well, the only three I've played there are EDF, St. Dragon. Uh, although I rem I'm sure it was St. Dragoon when I played it. Maybe that's a different game or a sequel, isn't it? And uh, Rodland as well. Uh, these carts are, uh, as the little cartridge man's on the back there says, uh, they're for use for all Evercade consoles. So you can play them handheld as well. If you want, um, but I'm using the Evercade Versus and its controller as well. Um, one thing to note is that um, ooh, how do I go back? One thing to note is that there is a brand new game of the month on uh, the console. I just updated the console, so I've not played it yet. But this is an action RPG called Scourge of the Goblin King, which is a top-down action RPG for uh, for one player. Oh, although it includes simultaneous two-player mode, Dragon Rush. Um, this game is available to play for one month until next month, uh, until all the games from the Indie Heroes collection 
cut have been given a month free for everyone and then they're, they're all going to come out in a cart bundle as well. Uh, I'm not going to play Anguna yet. Let's see how far we can get through the cartridges. And let's start with uh, the JLCo one. The Galico or whatever. Uh, I've got to open it all up now. Can you lot hear the crackle of the audio, by the way? Um, if it's just me, then it's not too bad. I don't mind too much, but... If there's a slight crackle in the audio, let me know and I'll fiddle with my HDMI cables. <laughs> Here we go. Are you looking forward to She-Hulk, says Dreadpool? Sure, it looks fun. Uh, it has some fourth wall breaking in there, which I always quite enjoy. Do you prefer the handheld or the console, says Fran Ban? I don't know. Oh, there is a slight crackle. Okay. I'm going to try unplugging and replugging in my HDMI cable quickly. So you're just going to lose the game. My HDMI cable is wrapped around the power cable, which may have d done something. Oh, still a bit of a, still a bit of a crackle. Oh well. I don't think it's the console's fault. It must be some of my wiring or something. Turn it back on again. It's a very slight crackle. Um, so it's, it's not too bad. But anyway, while I'm doing that, let's have a look. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Okay. Do you, I don't know if you remember last month. I was very impressed that they had some collectible cards inside the packaging. So this is... Ooh, there we go. So these are the cards you get inside uh, the jail code um, package. Manic Square World Rally. They're kind of like the um, the cover art or the, um, the the posters for these arcade cabinets. On, on some card. It's quite nice. Maybe you could pin them up and display them somewhere if you're so uh, inclined. And uh, there's also the usual uh, colour instruction manual as well. This gives you hints, tips, controls and... And, wonderfully, a comic book in the center about Thunderhoop. Lol. I'm pretty sure I made a, a Thunderhoop joke about some kind of farting in the last stream. So I, 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 won't, I won't make it again. And the cart, lovely purple cart with a, a green logo on it, which means it's being keyed out there. Okay. It might be the Algato, actually. I have a lot. I have that a lot when using it as a source, as Cleaver Slips. That's never happened to me before. Um, I've never heard a crackle from it before, so um, maybe it's uh, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Um, okay. Did you? I don't know if you heard the. Hold on. Let's take that out again. I forgot I wasn't on the uh, the screen. Let's go. Click it in. Yeah. Nice. So here we go, let's kick off with the, uh, the Jelco, uh, Pico Jelco Arcade Collection 2. And let's try, let's get, I want to get my hands on Big Karnak. Big Karnak is a horizontally scrolling platform action game for one to two players simultaneously. Casting the role of the brave pharaoh warrior, you must defeat the Egyptian gods Horus. Not, <laughs> yes, not. Isis, Osiris. Uh, Isis and Osiris, in order to rescue your wife from a fate worse than sand in your crevices. Excellent. Oh, wait, there was some history there. Big Karnak is one of uh, Gaelco's earliest games. Uh, Gaelco's, and it's one of the most well-known too. Despite being set in ancient Egypt, you'll notice a few anachronistic enemies over the course of your adventure. These are a result of the game's development being a collaborative affair where everyone involved got to throw their ideas into the mix. KD, which is that little arcade, uh, little Evercade uh, character on the back of the box it says hopping up onto these ledges in the back hop hopping up onto those ledges in the background can sometimes save you a lot of hassle hold up on the d-pad and press a to do that press a to jump back down again oh nice okay so the screenshot i've not played this game before but the screenshot makes it look a little bit like rastan to me i don't know if you ever remember rastan i used to play rastan on the zx spectrum a lot oh i'll check your sum Okay, big Karnak. Let's insert a coin. I can't remember what the insert coin button is. Is it start? Select? It's select. Nice. K. 
Okay, well this is the, the that was the demo. Here we go. Excellent arcadey noises. Oh, some big screams there. Oh, crap. Cripes. I don't know buttons. Okay, let's jump. That's hit. Okay, here we go. So a bit like uh, Altered Beast as well. Rise from your grave. Controls quite nicely. Big Karnax got quite a swing on that sword. These green ones take a few hits. Yeah, uh, the pink ones, not so much. Just one hit, I think, for the pink ones. What's the snake going to do? Just going to die. So we've got to jump and attack. And it looks like that's the extent of the buttons. Is that a shitty monkey? Can I jump as high in water? No, water stops me from jumping. So I'm going to have to really avoid taking a monkey's nuts to my face uh, if I want to not die. How do I get that up there? There's a, some kind of power up there. I don't see any platforms to jump on or anything. So, not sure. Ooh. Well, we made it through the first area. That wasn't too bad. That's, a, that's, that's easier. An easier first area than ghosts and goblins or ghouls and ghosts. That, that eagle just scream at me. Oh! Fucking... That mummy just spat in my face. How do I jump up onto these things then? Up on the D-pad and jump, I thought. Maybe I can't jump onto that thing. Okay, I'm going to avoid that. Maybe I can go through this door. Right, you're nuts, buddy. Yeah. So if you like side-scrolling action games. There you go, some of the things I can jump up on. If you like side-scrolling action games like Rastan or Ghouls and Ghosts, Ghosts and Goblins. This seems like it's pretty cool. Do I die? Oh, I came out with a bad back. Oh, I think I got bit on the ass by a scorpion. What I liked about the uh, Jailco, Galico, whatever, however you pronounce it, games from the last cut was just how... Um, off the wall and strange they were. Uh, oh no! This one doesn't seem as strange as some of the others on the first cart. It hasn't got any of those wacky guitar riffs either. Now, there we go. Oh, I chopped his head off. That was cool. Its head kind of shot off into the front of the screen. There we go. I don't know what I just got there, but. It better be good, because that was a lot of effort. Ah! Oh, spat in my eye again! Nope! That eagle sounds like it's excited to see me more than anything else. It's Ian! The guy who was the first person in the world to stream GeoGuessr. I didn't stream it. I made a video of it. Still, point stands. Whoa! Look at that! Look how strong his legs are. He's got some very defined calf muscles. Just like me. Oh, my butt! I got nuts in my butt! Wait a minute. <gasps> oh, shit. Monkey's gone now. Oh, there's spikes there. Okay. Drop down. Down and jump. No. Drop up. Jump and down. No. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, I'm going to have to try and run and jump this. It's fine. In. Oh, crikey. Okay. Is that big Karnak? He's, he's pretty big. I'm whacking him off. Wait, what? Ow! Oh! Stamped on me. Come on, if I want you to stand on, stand on me, I'll ask. Out. Mugging me off there with some laughter as well. Don't step on me. Wow! My health it is so low. Oh, <laughs> There's no, no way of knowing how much health this dude... Oh, is that down the bottom, maybe? 
There's something's flashing down. Oh, yeah, there you go. He's got five hit points, basically. But it takes multiple hits in order to... Where's my sword gone? I'm... That's... I'm... Ancient Egyptian dabbing there at whatever the hell that was. Listen, I've... I have... I don't have a sword, and I've just kicked the fucking genie from Aladdin in the testes. This is weird. It's got weird. You know when I said it wasn't weird? It's got weird. I can't believe him. What is the genie in Aladdin called? Probably just genie. I've kicked him in the jeans. Ah! Oh, he's got longer legs than me, the big blue prick. <laughs> Although this game doesn't have the uh, fantastically wacky guitar riffs of some of the other uh, Jailco games. It's got, it's got quite a nice soundtrack. It's very uh, reminiscent of a, uh, a Mega Drive game. The, the, the bleepy burpy music. I got ya! Have I ever lost... What's my gun? What's my gun? Where's my sword? Wait, what's that? Is that a sword? Hip! No, no, that's just open the door. Nice though, nice little bit of extra attention to detail. As we enter the tomb. Whoa, in the big hall, your only exit is the elevator. Oh. What is this? Solution to the enigmas. Is that the route I need to go? What's this? If you take the b boomerang, you will be able to continue the game. To carry on, you must write Jailco. Bring down the blue mirror if you want to go up and the red mirror if you want to go down. I don't understand what any of this is. <laughs> oh! And I've got some kind of weird force <laughs> dildo now. What are these things? Oh my god, madam, are you okay? Seems okay to me. Whoa! And a sexy wolf lady. Please, madam. Now, I expected weirdness when the game was called Big Karnak. But I didn't, I I didn't think there'd be transmogrifying furries. Oh, you're taking a lot of smacking, cheeky panther. Ow! Oh, please, there we go. Ouch! Oh, bastard! What are these things that are hitting me in the face? Ow! Oh, oh, there's loads of them. Oh no! Oh, can I go back and get the the baton? There we go. Oh my face! <laughs> All right, this guy's actually firing hot loads at me. <laughs> you stop that, sir! There we go. Now what? Can I go? Oh, we go. We're going up. Oh yeah, I control it. Yeah. Ah, in. It's saying my name as it beats me. Eon! Oh, fuck! Oh, take damage of a you weird dog thing. Right, that's it. Kicked his dick off. I like this game. This is cool. As as with a lot of other um, Jailco games, there's a lot of crazy shit going on. And I appreciate crazy shit. Not when it explodes on my legs, though. Ow! Stop it! Ooh. Thanks for subscribing, Johnny Boy Gaming One. You are the hero we deserved. We knew we needed, and we deserved. Uh. Ouch! I don't know what this bloody staff is, but it's weird. Can I grab these? Oh, I'm pulling. What the fuck is this? Whoa, I just... Was that an opal? Or a pearl? Can I get this one as well? Uh, ow! 
Uh, I can only pull that one. It's pretty intense, though. Lots of stuff's going on. You're going to burn through your monies. Oh. Oh, you're not to be rescued, then. Thought I was going to get Smooch off the hot de devil. Oh, you sexy devil, you. Ian. I can't believe it's saying my name. Ian. Ow. Can we go? I wonder if uh, these levers have something to do with what I read earlier that I paid not much attention to. Take that, you beaky prick! Stop throwing stuff at me! I literally have no memory of this being in the arcades at all. Ha <laughs> ha! Can I grab it again? Oh! Can I grab this one? Nope. Can I grab that one? I can grab that one. Didn't last very long. Maybe I have to go back down the left. <laughs> uh, I think that's a mirror everyone mentioned. Oh! I died somehow. Did I run out of time? I think when it's when it's black, it, it somehow murders me. Do 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 do. Can I go across this way? Hmm. Big Karnak, I'm lost. I presume that's death. Yep. Oh yes, that's death. Is there? Can I bring up the option? No. Ah! My skin. Oh fuck! I keep pressing the wrong button. Come on, Karnak. Okay. Oh. Try blue. Oh, really? yeah, no. Blue. Blue. Ah, blue was up, says Chris Calvert. You're right, Chris Calvert. Ouch! Whoa! I confused punch with uh, jump there and uh, died. Yeah, this is quite interesting compared to other arcade games of the era, really, because most arcade games are quite simple, but this has... Um, a fair bit of, like, puzzling involved, almost, I guess. <laughs> this guy's just, like, lying back and spitting snot juice everywhere. What are the... What the hell are you? Oh, fuck! Okay, that's not... I was hoping to jump down and go back on myself, but... That's not... Whoa. Huh. Next phase, huh? Nope. Oh. Whoop up! Didn't expect that to start mid... mid rope. Whoop -a! There we go. Right. Get some extra time. Kick a beetle in the face. Grab a short-range lightsaber. Be like that, are you? Can I attack down? Okay. Whoa! I can do something on the rope. You must be able to attack on the rope. It seems. Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Ah! Ah, you love. This, this is hard. Oh, my toes. Fuck you, lizard. <laughs> Mate. Is it? Ah, oh, you bite me in the dick! Ah, oh, fuck! I'm gonna have to finish this lizard off before I can climb down, it seems. 
fuck? It's... It doesn't help that the, uh, the attack with a weapon I have is so short range, and it also that I keep confusing jump and uh, hit. Come on. Fuck you. Fuck you. One more. Yeah, I got you. There you go. Kicks you so hard you burst into flames, dickhead. Oh! I want to get a snog before I move on to the next game. Mwah, indeed. Oh. There you go. Do you reckon that thing's there What is what I need to spell Galico on? Oh. Oh, shit, fuck it. Where's it going? Haha. <laughs> oh, yeah. Calad. Echo. There we go. Oh, yeah, puzzles. Oh, you son of a... <laughs> Dead. Well, okay. Uh, first impressions of this game, really good. That's a lot of fun. There's loads of variety in it. Lots of different monsters and bosses. Some cool puzzling that you wouldn't really expect from um, an arcade game. So, uh, that's that's one I'm definitely going to be returning to. Uh, so, yeah, thumbs up for Big Karnak. Let's have a quick look at Manix, Maniac Square. Actually, um, I think I've said this before, but I spent a lot of time playing Romeo and Julicat, a puzzle game. The handheld uh, Evercade is, is pretty good for little puzzle games, to be honest. It was appropriately silly. You're right, Jamie ICT. Okay. So, yeah, if you've not watched one of these Evercade streams before, what I try and do, because I normally... They, they release them in pairs, basically. So I try and spend an hour on each. Um... But I've already it's already half past and I've only done, played one game, so I need to move on. Let's put some coins in with the select button and start single player game, hopefully. Ready? I am ready. So this is Tetris. Uh, legally distinct Tetris. With a very jolly soundtrack. Match three shapes, match three, I guess. To make them disappear. Doesn't seem too complicated other than that, but it has to be, they have to be matched in a straight line. So if I'm gonna, I wonder if I can get, um, if I can get rid of this blue here. Oh god, the time's running out. Okay. It's got like sea shanty music. Um, all right, is this going to do a whole line of five? Oh, look at that! Yeah, big points. Okay. Very jolly. Um, and if you like Tetris style games, you should get a bit of fun out of it. I presume. As these are arcade games, and in back in the day they were designed to suck the cash out of your wallet, uh, I presume it's going to start getting pretty tricky um, quite fast. I mean, I'm already making a pig's ear out of it all. If I put that there, there we go. What's the star do? This is a gamble. Nice. Okay, blue on there, green on there. Uh, and... Boink. That puts the red on there neatly. Let's put the yellow there. Lovely. Okay. And every time we get a few lines, it extends the time. So next score. In 20, 26 lines, I get an extra 60 seconds of play, I believe. Is that how, is that how it works? Uh, it's a line of yellows. It's speeding up, though. The blocks are dropping, and not enough are popping. Oh, crap. Uh-oh. Okay, that might... I, d I don't rightly understand the method between behind how that star explodes. I have to say, the, the crackle has gone. 
by the way. The, the crackle I was talking about at the start of this stream. Since I started playing the games, that crackle has vanished. So maybe it was just something to do with the um, Evercade menu music. Doesn't play too well with my capture card or something. I'm on a plus now. Alright, sod it. Let's see what happens when we die. Oh, we get the idea of this game. It's a standard little drop drop blocks, match blocks, match three, puzzle game. Quite good for a you know, a short bus ride or something. But um you know, it's not doing anything um super imaginative like Big Karnak was. I'm gonna skip over Squash for now because if you've watched these streams before I'm not a big fan of sports games. Uh, you can play two players simultaneous, though. Actually, should we? Let's have a quick look. Let's have a quick look because the graphics look like they might be actually quite decent. Uh, Okami DG has played so much columns on the Game Gear. Nice to see Evercade now has something like it. Yas. Whoa. Uh, I guess we're going to play Squash in Hell, friends. Didn't know squash players had cheerleaders. Ball winner. You're a ball winner. Uh, uh, whoa. Uh, side parting Dan. Middle parting Frank. Headband Pierre. Mustachioed Klaus. That's mum cutting your hair with a bowl. Um, Saito. Oh. I right, just picked picked him for me, I guess. Okay, I I hit the ball. I'm this guy. Did I win? No, he just thrust it at me, and I just went. Also, oh, oh, it's not like tennis. I don't know the rules of squash. Looks like we can walk in each other's areas. I'll walk in your area. Fuck. You little bastard. I'm pretty sure you've told us before, but how much battery does the Evercade give you for a long journey, says Dreadpool. I've honestly not tested it, but it um, seems to last pretty long. Like a couple of hours. You'll get, you'll get a good couple of hours at least out of it on a flight. Uh, but I don't know for definite. Um, if um, uh, Mr. Cleaver is still watching, he might be able to say. But uh, I am not 100% sure, I'm afraid. I'm smashing my balls in this guy's general direction and he's fucking me every time. Alright, he beat me. Well, that's squash. Might be alright between two players. That actually probably would be quite a lot of fun with two players, but um, neither I nor my wife like sports games, so <laughs> we might not play that one too much. Uh, okay, four hours-ish, depending on what you're playing, and four to five for the new upcoming one. That's the Evercade XP, I believe. Uh, thanks, Sean. Um, so the new uh, the new Evercade has a bigger battery and USB-C charging. Oh, that's good. I like USB-C charging because you always get the cable in the right way the first time. It's never the wrong way. Which Every time I do a USB plug, it's always not the right way. Then I flip it over. Then it's not the right way. Then I flip it back and then it is the right way. I'm like, how does that work? Stop bending space-time, fucking USB. Okay, it's, it's Thunderhoop. He's back. Thunderhoop strikes back as a horror blah, 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 horizontally scrolling run-and-gun platformer for one to two players simultaneously. And it's the sequel to Thunderhoop. Fight your way through action-packed stages and defeat deadly bosses on your path to victory. Ten years have passed since the, the events of the original Thunderhoop, and Dr. Genbrake is up to his old tricks again. This time he wants the Thunderhoop DNA for himself. So he's <laughs> once again up to Thunderhoop. All grown up, grown up now to save the day. Pity the poor player 2 sprite. No one knows who he is. I like to call him Hunterthoop. <laughs> Excellent. 
Oh, yeah, so I remember actually Thunderhoop. He was like a weird, spiky haired kid. What have we got? Super shot, normal shot, jump. But now he's he's all adult and muscly, is he? Okay, here we go. There's little thunder hoop. This must be. I'll be, back. <laughs> I'll be back. Spoilers for the ending of thunder hoop. There, sorry. Whoa! Some boobies. Enemy invasion. <laughs> Whoa! Thunderhoop's just gone Super Saiyan. Thunderhoop. Alright. Let's put some cash into Thunderhoop. Oh, Thunderhoop means business. Holy moly. You are going to die. <laughs> okay, jump. Duck. Left, right. Fireball. Superpower. Okay, let's go. I'm ready now. Sperm. Angry, flappy drawed sperm. Oh, God. What the? Am I just... What the hell am I firing at these people? Seems to be inflating them until they explode. That's a terrible way to die. Oh my god! Thunder Hoop, you asshole! Blah. Just sh shoot him in the face with a gun! Don't explode their very beings! Ow! Thunder Hoop! That's the second time you got cooked alive. Oh Christ. Oh well, the, pres the presentation on... on uh, what the hell is this called? Thunder Hoop Strikes Back. It's definitely... Um, it's, take it's a level up from... The original Thunder Hoop. Kind of looked like a. Uh, it would look nice. Bit Amiga gamey. This is definitely seems to have a lot more flashy effects going on. Definitely bigger, more impressive enemies. They all seem to have. The humanoid ones all seem to have big boobs. And uh, phenomenal. Phenomenal butts. I think. I think one of them just tried to crush me with her thighs. And. Xenia on a top style. This. How very 90s of this game. Whee! Control's nice though. Oh my, have gone Super Saiyan! As if. Oh fuck, now I'm firing Thunderbirds and shit. Boom! Eat shit, everyone else! No, don't burn me! I want the thousand... Oh! oh. Give me the... Give me the money! Oh, I missed him. Oh, yeah, the little animations of the player character in the top uh, left-hand corner are pretty cool. Quite like the way they, um... They explode as well. They, like, kind of... The green... The frogs, at least. They kind of explode into loads of pixels. This is quite satisfying. And it also has a soundtrack done by a guy in his bedroom recording a guitar riff into uh, a tape recorder like the original one. This is cool. This is a lot of fun. F fuck you, Pam Land Bowser. Ouch! All right. I take it back. Don't kill me. This is what happens when... Ah! Oh, God. Ah! This is what happens when you let Bowser get of the steroids. Comes a jacked up ninja turtle. Piss you off. Did I just jump on his head then? 
Whoa. When I die, I turn into a literal hoop. Oh, you can jump on his head. Oh, missed. Huh. Yeah. Ah, oh, he hooped me. Got me right up the hoop. Oh, fuck. Very easy to take damage and lose lives in this game. Classic arcade experience. There we go, got him. Oh, he's spitting out blood and shit. And then he melted. Now, now I'm having my thunder out of my hoop. Nice. Thunder hoop means frickin' business. Stage two. Oh, a little rat. Hi, little ratty. It's like a, a sexy fucking xenomorph there. Look at it. It's a xenomorph with boobs. Ow. I want to try and get leg throttled by... Uh, one of these enemies. For no reason, uh, obviously. Oh, he's gone Super Saiyan now, though. Shit, forgot to jump. Arse. And that one there as well. Damn it. Every time I respawn, everyone explodes. Oh, hopping on those frogs' heads. How ironic. Eat laser sexy aliens. What's this? Are we having a race? Alright, see if you throttle throt me with it. No, I jumped on a red. Oh, there we go. Oh! Thunder hoop! So stupidly violent. Yes. Because if I was going to build a spaceship, I would build a section of a spaceship that included giant springs for no reason at all. Out! Okay, madam. Strangle me with your thighs. Oh, damn it! Strangle me with your thighs. Oh, damn it. I'm super set. I'm too super saiyan. I can't get thigh <laughs> Thigh strangled. Oh, bollocks. Ah. It's the worst. Oh, God. Can I blow up this canister thing? Oh, yeah. I shoot the green bit I can. Oh. Oh. What's it? It's a dragon with a... Seems like a... A simplistic weapon for a demon to... A spaceship owning dragon demon to hold. Just spinny spikes on a stick. Sure, why not? Who am I to argue? I'm firing fire out my fingers. This has got some very arcadey whoop noises as well. If you ever went to an arcade in the in the 90s, you definitely hear those kind of whoops all the time. Mainly, probably from the Street Fighter arcade. It sounds like the elephants from Street Fighter 2. Absolutely destroying me now. Holy shit! Give my thunder hoop a chance, my friend. Is 
Shoot you in the poop with my thunder hoop. Jump it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Am I taking damage from the fire on the floor? I think I might be. But it doesn't seem to be too much if I am. Oh. Speedy prick. He's got real fast now. His health's low. Woo woo! Hup! Now! So hot! Oh my god! You little bastard! Full! Full! Got him! Yeah! Popped! <laughs> Miss Master says, okay, I love how mental these games are. Why can't games be this nuts again? Honestly, these, the, the uh, Jailco arcade games all are a special kind of crazy. Uh, without a doubt, I'm coming back to this one uh, when I'm playing these games in private. That's great. That's very cool again. Um, so far, massive fans, a big car, a massive fan of Big Car Knack and... Uh, and strikes back, uh, and Thunder Hoop strikes back. Manic Square, nice chill puzzle game. Squash, I think there'll be a lot of fun to be had in that if if people enjoy squash ping pong style two player games. Touch and go again. It's probably because it's a sports game, one that I might not play too much. Uh, but they look like or is that photo? Have they taken photos of people and scanned them in? For this, but we'll uh, we got time to check out the last two games on this cart because I was quite quick with a couple of them. Volleyball, butts, beach volleyball. Oh, touch and go. Okay, let's put some money in. Oh, bear jump. I don't know what they're saying. Bear chair? Bear jump USA versus Spain. Okay, so they look like they're pictures that of people that they've actually scanned in and done. Okay, I'm... I'm oh, God. Alright, see... Playing these types of games, it's probably, whoa, that's quite a, a jump. Probably helps if you know the rules to these sports. Just ate a face full of sand. Okay, come on, bear touch me, baby. Wait, am I only, I'm only this one. Yeah! My other player groined so hard at the enemy team there. What am I doing over there? Oh, fuck! At the sand again. That's some great animation on these characters. Smosh! Yeah! So, my character actually moved into position at one point there. I didn't press anything, and he... kind of went anyway. What the fuck? I guess I can't dive at that spot. I have to be stood on that spot, maybe. Fuck him up. Yeah. 14 all. I'm doing very well for someone who doesn't know how the f you're supposed to play beach volleyball. Hung! Looks like passing to your pals pretty good. Sat balls? Sat my balls. Mm. 
Oh, yeah. So we're passing it backwards and forwards and then going for a smash. Well, no, I just passed it to them guys then. Bonk! Fuck you. Ah, oh, yeah. Replays. Nice. Oh, it's another set. Shit, son. This is where I mess it up now. Yup. Oh, fuck, I found another. Hook. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Woo. Woo. <laughs> why, why do they do that beavers and butthead hump dancing when they win? <laughs> oh, you son of a... Wait. Yeah, you fucked it. Ah, blah, blah. And punch. <gasps> Ooh, boop. Bonk. Oh. As someone who doesn't enjoy sports games very much, I'm actually... I quite like this. This seems quite fun. You f oh, you bastards. Whoop. You bastard! Right, hold on. Don't start. Don't start. Yep, squash. How many players can you have? One to two players simultaneously. Ah, it's a shame. I was going to say, it looks like there's four people here. Maybe this is one of those games where you can have four players on. Because you can have up to four controllers uh, in the... Um, uh, Evercade versus. That was a really cool two-player game. Match ball. Rule is you have to pass it and you can only shoot on the third pass. Oh, okay. So, yeah, they're passing. And then he's shooting. <gasps> you love fuck! 40, 40. Must say, my character has a lovely tan. We're going to fuck him up. Oh. Oh, what a kick. Don't know. You could do his defeat in this. This is quite a rally. Do they have rallies in this game? That's it. Yeah. Match ball. Oh. oh! Little bastard. Ah! Oh, made me eat sand. Set ball. <laughs> Set ball. Sick ball. Yeah! Replay. <laughs> Screw you, Spain. The final. I don't have time for the final. That's fun. <laughs> That's actually a lot of fun. I, I was like, oh, sports games. But that was that's good fun. Great presentation. Quite funky music. Uh, the gameplay pace is is pretty decent. And uh, yeah, it's got replays and people in their pants. That would be fun in multiplayer, says Gavin. Yeah, it would. Hey, Feb USA of. You see, I haven't said hello to everyone watching. Uh, hello to Chris Calvert, Cleaver Slips, Crit Spiry, Claire T Rex, Dreadpool EA one to two, Fabulous Elf, uh, Kevin UK six, Jacob M Lacroix Boy Marks, Lady Shadow Wolf, Mus Muscle, Nightcat, Akami DG, Priscilla Lopez, that cat over there, and Thomas Blackflame. You're watching on YouTube over on Twitch. We got Dog Party Guy, Dragon Botherer, The Wraith eighty six, Gavin, uh, Nightcats chatting as well. DCC zero two zero nine. Anyone else? That's about it. Chatting, but 23 people watching on Twitch. My, uh, my, uh, the number of, uh, people watching Twitch is slowly going up. 
slowly going up. So uh, thanks, thanks to everyone watching on Twitch, and uh, big thanks to everyone who's been watching on and supporting on YouTube as well, of course. Uh, so the last one is World Rally uh, Two. I've previously very much enjoyed rally games on the Evercade, and they normally tend to have pretty good graphics. I think this might be the first isometric rally racing game I've played on the arcade carts. Normally, they've been like PlayStation 1 ports. Hold on. Let me have a look. Because I have played... A, there has been a couple of rally games. Uh, no rally games on Technos Arcade, but there is a game called Minky Monkey. <laughs> Lol. Um, uh, no rally games on Data East. Oh, there you go. It's uh, another Jailco uh, arcade car. It's uh, World Rally is on is on the arcade collection one. Uh, so that's where I'm remembering a rally game from. All right, let's give this a go. These tend to be pretty nice looking games as well. Present. World Rally Twin Racing. Two. Oh, okay. And it's the sequel to the one I played on the other car, of course. Portugal. Portugal is the easy one, is it? Can I go anywhere else? Oh, hold on. Hold on. So I get to choose a car. Oh, they spin around on that. Ooh, fancy graphics. Which one do I like best? I like this one best. Okay, I have chosed a car, a car. My car successfully chosed. Right, easy. Normal is the safari. That French difficult, and then is that what? What? I don't know where that is. We're gonna go for the uh, easy one first. Check this out. Time for Mike Biscuits to show us what he's got. Mike Biscuits isn't here, I'm afraid. You got you got to put up with me. Three, two, I don't know the controls. One, Excellent fingering there, but okay, that's what. what? Oh yeah, okay. So this is pretty much. I mean, it feels like it's running a bit faster, but it seems quite close to how I remember the original being. The handling may be a little bit nicer, and um, definitely. Looks like the environments are a little bit more detailed. There's some cool jumps there. It's got some great car noises as well. Especially when you go over the gravel skid. I think I missed a shortcut there. I presume this would be the, this would be the sort of game you'd actually play on an arcade cabinet with a steering wheel. The buildings look quite detailed as well. Extended play, nice. Oh yeah. Boop -ba -do -boop -ba -do -ba -do. I was eighth, nice. Okay, stage two, Portugal. Doop -ba -do -boop -ba -do -boop. Ready. Ready. Three, two, one, go. Go. It's night time. That's quite, quite fancy. I don't know if they had any night tra time tracks in the last ones. I like how they've got the the headlight um, effect there. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but it kind of looked cool. Is that damage to these cars? My car doesn't sound that healthy. Oh, I've got 30 seconds left, about halfway through. Oh, man, there's some... There's some crunchy crashes happening here. I'm grinding my gears. I don't think there's a gear change in this. I haven't really tried pressing any, bu any other buttons apart from accelerate, though. I'm getting so close to the end. I've crashed far too much, though. I think I've screwed. Time exceeded. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> Nightcat says, ah, oh, it's raining now. Back in a bit. <laughs> I have to shut the house sphincters. 
That's the first time I've ever heard Windows described as house sphincters, but I love it. <laughs> Oh, wow. Is that a bukkake? <laughs> right, let's have a quick look. Uh, I've got one minute until seven, so let's have a... Let's check out the expert course. Oh, it's in Britain. It's another nighttime one. Ah, yes. The familiar British snow. This is definitely the sort of game that you'd need to just play multiple times to uh, memorize the track. Just keep feeding them coins in until you you know exactly what oh, fuck oh mate battered my car to you know exactly when and where to turn. So then you can thrash your mate's high scores. I'm not thrashing anything apart from my vehicle at this point. Fuck boff. It's dead. Alright well that my friends was a look at uh Jailco Gallico RK2. Really fun car. I really like this one. Uh, two really good games on there. Karnak and uh, uh, Thunderhoop Strikes Back. Uh, which I'm, I'm very much enjoyed. A surprise! A surprise um, enjoyment from Touch and Go. Uh, beach Volleyball. World Rally 2 is pretty cool as well. Manic Square. Maniac Square. A uh, good little puzzle game probably better to play um, on the handheld uh, and squash seemed all right not my kind of game I don't think but might be a pretty decent two-player game so that was so that was Evercade uh, arcade Ever, um, Evercade arcade cart number six we're going backwards now to Evercade arcade cart number five. I'm saving this one to last because it's got Rodland on it. I think my best time is a 46.1. If you want a challenge on first stage, my best time is a 46.1. Oh, right. Wow. Well, never turned down a challenge. Oh, hello. Right, we've got more collectible cars inside uh, Evercade Cart 5. Nice big ones. I love that Rodland one on the back. It's like the Japanese uh, arcade poster on that one. And then Cyber Battler's got a really cool mech on the front of that as well. Squiggly, squaggly, squoo. I know, I did it out of order. I'm very sorry, Kate Lily. Right, what does that have to be on the first stage? It was 46.1. 46.1. I don't think the cars make any difference. Car accelerate. B is accelerate. Okay, okay. pressing A to accelerate, but it's B. Okay, here 
Here we go. Got the right accelerating button now. Easy. Alright, 46.1. Let's do this. Ready. Yes, this time Three, I am. Two, one, go. All right, here we go. Forty-six point one. What a what a drift! Oh god, I'm hitting the. I'm going into the rough. Wait, is that golf? Really swing the back end out of this car. I don't think I'm gonna beat Cleaver Slips' score, to be honest with you. I think I've done far too many crashings and bashings. No. As the French say, I have la fucked it. Well, there we go. It, not great. Beat that one. <laughs> All right. On to the pressing the wrong button again. On to the next cart. I'm gonna take this one out and uh, slot in the, the Jellico cart. This is a Jellico Arcade One. So we've got plenty of games here. Uh, including 64th Street, a detective story, who's punching someone so hard that it says, Dugoon! <laughs> that looks like a cool side scrolling beat em up. Avenging Spirit. D I don't know. These all look pretty cool, though. Um, I guess we'll just go, go in order. 64th Street, a detective story. It's a belt scrolling beat em up for one or two players simultaneously. Playable characters Rick and Alan. You don't get names like that in video games anymore. They each have distinctive fighting styles, huh? Private Detective Rick Anderson and his 19 year old assistant Alan Toombs are on the case. A rich client has tasked them with rescuing their daughter and uncovering the mystery of the Legacy Corporation. It's time to crack the case. Crack a few skulls along the way. All right. If Rick and Alan are together, they can double team enemies. Okay, okay. attack and jump. All right, sounds good. Ah, right. sounds. Good. I'm pressing B now, which was the accelerate on the other ones. Dragoon. Rick, private detective. Three October, nineteen thirty-nine. File number two three. Case of the rich man's kidnapped daughter. A new client? My daughter has been kidnapped. I got this letter from the kidnappers. Please rescue her. <laughs> hey, look at this. Another thing I like about the Evercade uh, is that it often... The majority of the games on the carts I've never played before. They're like old school treasures that I've never experienced before. It's a nice little, little bit of history for your pocket. Alan's wearing like a pink snooker jacket and a flat cap. Oh. I think I'm going to be Rick because he has an excellent tash. Hi, I'm Rick. Excellent tash, orange trousers. Okay. Dagoon! Dagoon! Dug Ouch! I got dagooned. I dagooned him back though. So in terms of graphics and speed of gameplay, it's a bit slower than other famous uh, side-scrolling fighters you might remember, like Final Fantasy. It's definitely got big, chunky characters like Final Fantasy, but it feels like it's probably... Final Fantasy? Final Fight. It's definitely not like Final Fantasy. Um, yeah, it seems a bit slower, but... Big style characters. I like that... <laughs> There's a lot of detail in the backgrounds, including this discount shop, which seems to be selling typewriters and suits of armor and gargoyles. 
how very 1930s of it. And a big orange Rolls Royce. <gasps> a chocolate shop that sells mouse's cheese and fruit pies. I mean, if cheese and chocolate don't go well together, I don't know what does. <gasps> I fucking smashed the window display, but can I now help myself with some free chocolate? Maybe. Who knows? Diddle a doom. Ouch. 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 Dagoon! Ah, he dagooned me. Dagooned me good. Ah, oh, mate, who's this guy? What? Stop your dig. Oh, he dagooned me to death. That guy's an absolute monster. You can do kicks as well. That is a bloody high kick. Who's he trying to kick in the head there? A giraffe. Look at that. The <laughs> blue. Yeah. Oh, you can break the boxes as well. I quite like the fact that uh, it's got like not say an interactive environment, but even that wall. I threw that guy at the wall, and there's a little bit of damage to the wall now. It's pretty sweet. Nice little attention to detail. <gasps> Kitty. Guy's chin. Can I throw? Oh, what was that? Is that a grab move I just tried to do there? Oh. If I press jump and punch at the same time, I kind of do a weird double fisting thing and then roly poly. Stop laughing at me, dude. Ooh. There's some incredible sound effects in this game. Yeah, trap me now. Trapped him in a corner, I'm whacking him off. What? What? With a pole. Yeah. You crushed the cat, says Claire T-Rex. I was hoping it ran away. The way that cat flashed and disappears made me think you can use it as a weapon, says Night Cat. <laughs> well. I'll try that again if we find one. Hopefully I don't have to eat the cat for health. Aha! Now we're on a train driving past countless chocolate shops. Wait, is it a train or is it a bus? I think it might be a bus, considering we can already see the driver. You can't bring a mallet onto a bus, sir. Tickets, please! This guy also has a, a, a weird pawn tash thing going on. Fuck! Piss off with your mallet! Stop! Not hammer time. I feel a very sped up version of the Doom soundtrack almost. <laughs> Eat glass. Don't make me dagoon you! Dagoon! Dagoon, dagoon! Dagoon, dagoon! Dagoon, ouch! Rick, no! Oh, I could have picked Alan as well. Dagoon, dagoon! Dagoon! Dagoon, dagoon, dagoon! I have to probe the next hideout. Outside the office, Rick and Alan are attacked as they leave their office. Oh, no. I like this game. This is cool. Um, it may not have the presentation of things like Final Fight and stuff, but uh, that is a satisfying brawler. Some cool little de attention to details. Um, and uh, it seems a bit silly as well. I like it. I like it. Is the bus made of wood, says that cat over there. Yes, I think it is. I think it was, you know. All right, so that's 64th. I've got to try and go a little bit faster on these games because there's eight to cover and um, I've only got 45 minutes left. This is Avenging Spirit. Ooh, Avenging Spirit is a platform action game for one to two players taking alternating turns. Possess the bad guys. Use their unique abilities to fight your way through the evil forces and save the day. Even if it's too late to save yourself. That's kind of cool. Is it like Kirby, but if Kirby was dead? B is Possess. 
and an attack in body, and A is possess or jump. It's in ghost, okay. Seems like an, uh, games that go hard, says Mr. Tom for the win. It, <laughs> that definitely went hard, that game. I, uh, I like the idea of this game. Sounds pretty cool. When's this made? I didn't see. When are any of these games made? I haven't really looked at the instruction book too much. I was taken with the, uh, the cards, and then I discarded the, uh, so this is 1991, uh, Avenging Spirit. 64th Street was also 1991. To get the best ending of the game, you need to collect three keys. You can find them on stages 2, 5, and 6, according to the tips. All right. Coins in. Very colourful uh, logo. Who's this guy? I called you here. Thank you. Those men were members of an evil secret society, were they? Ooh. They kidnapped my daughter and held her for ransom in order to get information about my research on ghost energy. Whoa. Your energy is limited. Oh, look at that little sad ghost. But please help me. Save my daughter. That. To possess an enemy, position yourself on top of them and press the button. Uh, well, it's, it's going to have to be this... Ewok looking thing. Jawa thing. Press the A button to attack. To jump. Oh, and that one to attack. Okay. Okay, so I'm currently in this Orco looking mother flipper. Let's go for it. This is a good game, says Lady uh, Lazy SKB. Seems pretty cool. Oh, you can lie down. Oh. Can I fire upwards? Can't fire upwards. What's that? Is that a bonus? Oh, that killed everyone. Nice. Got a little a bit of a glide down to my jump, spring up and then slowly float down. No, but like uh, uh, Princess uh, Daisy and uh, Super Mario 2. Is it Princess Peach? One of the two. One of the two. We do 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 do. Very cheerful music as well. So my health's pretty low. I'm presuming if I get completely messed up, I'll turn into the ghost and then I have to take someone's body over. Boom, smart bomb. These kind of games make me miss living with my brother because we definitely play these kind of games together um, back in the day <laughs> toast this dragon toasty oh my god I actually properly toasted it so I think I have a certain amount of time to repossess something else when I'm a ghost. I think that's my ghost energy up the top there. Whoa. Laser snakes. No match for my flame breath. If I can get close enough to them. Oh, shit. I am. Ow! My energy's very low. My energy is gone. Dead. Can I continue? Yes, I can. Good. And its health hasn't gone up. Lush. Ooh. Talking of spirits, I work in a haunted house, says Gareth Smith. What? I work in a hall for tourists as part of a public park. which well, seems to be haunted. Where's that, Gareth Smith? Just setting these people on fire. Where did this dragon come from? 
Why, why, why are there fire-breathing lizards in this town populated by gangsters? Platforming and... Oh, bastard. It's got good tunes as well, this one. Because this is, these are produced in 1981, I guess, you know, graphically, they're not going to be as good as the Janico ones, which are, or the, the Galco ones, or Galico. They would seem to have been produced a bit later than, like, a bit later on. Oh, this, this, this guy with the grenades. Oh, he can double? Can he double jump as well? No. He's got a very floaty jump. <gasps> Whoa! Mechs! Smart bomb them. But all in all, it's, it's quite a cool game. I'm here for the different characters and possessing people with different powers. Evil Kirby bullshit. Yeah, take that, floating genies. There is a really bizarre concoction of characters in this game. What were they smoking? Keep out. What's that? Oh, I found one of the keys! to get the best ending in the game. Okay. Oh, that's one of them little weird magical bastards. Whee! <gasps> oh, spikes! Wow, they are very long spikes. <laughs> What's that music remind me of? <laughs> It's got this, this part of that music reminds me of another retro game, but just as I think I'm going to get it, the music changes in the night. I can't remember. Maybe Outrun. Okay, whoa! This grenade's not the best for delivering damage to this squashing machine. Actually, they do a lot of damage. Just need to get in the right place at the right time and not get smooshed. There we go. Actually made short work of that. I think it's Summer Breeze. I think it's the um, Outrun song, Summer Breeze. All right. Again, uh, so far, all hits so far on this one. We're only two through, though. Let's try Cybattler next. Cybattler was made in 1993. It's a vertically scrolling shmup for one to two players. Take control of your powerful Blanche mech. Isn't Blanche one of the Golden Girls? This is a, a, a vertically scrolling shmup starring the Golden Girls. I'd be well up for that. Oh, maybe it's F-Zero. Yes, it's F-Zero. Yes, you're right. Okay. Stand by. Okay. So we got proper Tate Vision or Tate, however you pronounce it. I've got a beam launcher and a beam sword. I love this cool 90s Mac action already. I was about to make the Golden Girls jokes as Mr. Tom. Okay, are these guys my pals? Ooh. Okay, so I can fire in any direction, but once I start firing, I'm locked in that position to fire. So I have to let go of the, um, the attack button and change the direction I'm aiming in. I've got a laser sword as well for close combat stuff. Very gun down. Gun down! 
Going at the asteroids as well. Get on! Get on that power up. It's not too bullet hellish at the moment. I struggle with bullet hell games a lot. There's too much going on on screen at once. Gets me confuzzled. Okay, I was trying to attack that spaceship from below because I'm, I'm thinking in terms of uh, vertically scrolling shoot 'em ups that you have to get like underneath enemies and fire up as to get them. But I can I can attack sideways and shoot from here. I can attack below as well, of course. So if anything's coming at me from below, music's a bit weird. It's not as much of a bop as the uh, the other games. So uh, I was getting fixed there. These ones appearing from the bottom must be my pals. Does that spaceship drop bonuses? It seems to. A lot going on, but I feel like people who like vertically scrolling shooters are going to dig this one. Mainly due to the originality of it all. I mean, I don't know how well known. I've never played this game before. I've never heard of it before. I don't know how well known it is in the shmup community. Whether this is a you know a really famous favourite vertically scrolling shooter or not. But it's not too bullet helly to be impossible for me. And it's. Just um, imaginative enough for me to want to keep pushing on and see what's next. A lot of vertically sc scrolling shooters I kind of get bored of quite quickly because you're just going up and shooting things. But I think just just having the ability to change uh, the direction and, and approach shootouts a little bit differently to normal is quite attractive to me. Um, that's good. It's good. I like it. I'm going to move on. Just because we've got half an hour left and there's still five games to go. Earth Defense Force. EDF. It's the horizontally scrolling shoot 'em up for one to two players. That's some um, R type inspiration taken from that ship, I reckon. Suwabi Hall is the place, Ian, says Gareth Smith. Ow, fuck, whoops. My fingers are haunted. Suwabi Hall. Ooh. In Yorkshire. So what you're saying, Gareth Smith, is that one day... Me, Ifra, and Zoe can come along and do a ghost hunt now, right? Okay, EDF! This isn't the uh, EDF that you may remember from Punching Giant Ants. But it is a very uh, famous side-scrolling shooter. Oh, it's not publicly known as Haunted, though, says Gareth. Oh. Okay, yeah, I remember. So you can lock on your power-ups to create concentrated fire that way. For some reason, I've always liked side-scrolling shooters more than vertically scrolling shooters. I don't know whether it's because you kind of get a bit more real estate space to fly around in. Vertically scrolling shooters always that are in, like, generally tend to be in that tape mode, the tate mode, or and um, they seem to be a bit more cramped. Oh, I took a hit there. This has got. I, when was this? When's this made? I didn't look, but this. It's got some Super Nintendo, some Super NES vibes to it. Pish off me. Ah, fucked it. Let's try a different. Try. Oh, the laser. Oh, yeah. I'm digging this. Ooh. 
This is um This is definitely giving me Super Nintendo shooter vibes. Um these sci-fi enemies have a bit of a probotech to like a uh, Super Contra kind of feel to them in a way. The side scrolling action is of course like yeah, like a bit like our type and uh, what was the other one I really liked? Side scrolling shooter on Super Nintendo. UN Squadron I really liked as well. There was a, um, a vertically scrolling shooter I really liked on the Super Nintendo actually, but it was it wasn't tape mode. It was like four by three. It was called Axley, and you went up the level, but the level kind of used mode seven, and it felt like the planets you were flying along were like almost like tubes. Oh shit. Back with the uh, laser cannon again. I reckon this would be a cool one to play handheld. That new Evercade uh, that's coming out, the Evercade EXP or whatever it is, has um, does have tape mode so you can play it like, on its side. I love old school synthesized video game synthesized bass. It's very satisfying. Should try and mix up my weapons, but I keep forgetting. This is tough. I'm having a hard time dodging enemies. But I made it. Yeah, Axley was badass nightcap. Oh, Mode 7 could not do the Axley tube effect. They did that with a clever use of screen refresh. Oh. Well. I just got well actually <laughs> Can't believe you well actually me, Mr. Tom. Oh! But fair enough. Okay, let's try whatever this one is. Ooh! Crush bombs! Not very fast firing, but probably do a lot of damage, maybe. We didn't feel like we're doing lots of damage, there we go. Stop shooting my rockets, dickhead! Cheery music? Oh, I didn't get to kill it. Boom, boom, boom. So those explosions kind of have a bit of an airburst effect. Take out loads of enemies, that's cool. Nice crunchy explosions in this one. Well, actually, he says Mr. Tom for the win. Nice. I like what he did there. Man, I'm having mad Super Nintendo flashbacks with this. This wasn't on the Super Nintendo, was it? I'm pretty sure I only played this in the arcade, but... Oh, terrible. I'm glad I'm not paying real money to play these, because... Absolutely getting my ass handed to me by these little sky pricks. Yeah. Oh. Whoa! Oh, fuck! It's like the opening to Star Wars. Never thought it was going to end. If anyone likes UN Squadron, you must play the sequel, Carrier Air Ring. I've never played this. I didn't even know UN Squadron had a sequel. That alone played it. This is probably the furthest I've ever got with this game, though. Because I probably spent all my uh, arcade allowance by the time I got 
to the first boss. I'm not, I'm not really trying too hard to avoid things at the moment, to be fair. But yeah, I'm not great. Not great with bullet hell stuff, as I mentioned before. Oh. That is some stinky fucking funky funk bass. Oh! I will defeat you before I move on to the next game! You insectoid looking prick! Fire mad lasers. Whoa! Oh no, homing missiles! It's a dick. Oh yeah! Oh, he's not dead yet. Shit. He's getting cocky. I've just injured it slightly. I've angered it more. Dodgy, dodgy. This <laughs> fucking soundtrack's bit trick. Yeah! Suck it! I've leveled up. Level 3 as well. Brighton is the most haunted city in the UK, allegedly. Oh, crazy. Well. There we go. Also, the UN Squadron sequel was only ever released in the arcade. Oh, although it appeared on the Capcom Arcade Collection 1 recently. Okay, that was cool. I like that game. That's fun. Um, but we must move on so we can see them all. It's P47. Um, not as good as P32, but, you know, 1988. Okay. Angelica. P47. Send us some coins. North France. Okay, here we go. Oh, shit. No, M does, maybe makes me fire a bit faster. So maybe due to the age, this schmop, a little bit simpler and less flashy. EDF. But if you're of an age, this will probably bring back some memories. It's no P32, but it's pretty cool. Oh, fuck. I just crashed into the floor. I was looking at the bonus, of course. Doesn't seem as um, bullet helly as EDF, which might uh, might be better for people with slower reflexes, that's for sure. Ooh, look at that. Ow, you fucker. This big bastard. How's that stay if in the air? Yeah, it's not staying in the air now. Ha ha ha! Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh, I crashed again. Oh, okay, it's getting a bit bonkers now. I've oh, got one up. Oh, got a one up and then instantly died. So, like, visually, um, nowhere near as kind of impressive as. A lot of the other games that I've played today, but it's not without its charms. This one. Oh, shit, son! I got a bomb. I just found the bomb button. Have I got infinite bombs? Oh, now we're talking. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Hopefully that ah oh! oh yeah, there we go. I was gonna say hopefully I'm actually doing some damage with these things. I just avoid the bullets and hover above. There you go, you're screwed now. I'm gonna shit my bombs on its head. There we go. Kabloom. Ian, are you looking forward to the new Game of Thrones prequel? Apparently the first episode is incredible and even better than Game of Thrones. Uh, yeah, sure. I, uh, oh, I am looking forward to it. I didn't even know the first episode was out. Okay, well that was P47, The Phantom Fighter. It's pretty good fun. I'll probably play more of that as well. Like every single one of these games so far, I've kind of been like, oh, I want to play more, but... Um, it's time for some Rodland. Rodland is a platform game one or two players simultaneously. It's been a while since I played Rodland. The enemies, uh, the characters are called Rit and Tam. It's kind of, if you've ever played like Bubble Bobble, Rainbow Island, it's kind of in that vein. If you, want if you want to jump straight to the super challenging second quest, insert a credit with select, then push down on the D-pad three times before pressing start to begin. Ah, oh, it's got like a cheat mode or something, isn't it? To make it more difficult. I prefer the sequel Rodland and Emu, says Jamie ICT. Ah, <laughs> nice. Love the Amiga port of Rodland, says Okami DG. Me too, me too. Rainbow shoes. Given by the elder. There they are. Fight using the rod. And the shoes. Sure, why not? So this is my first ever time playing the arcade version of Rodland. At least that I can remember. Help! Mom is kidnapped! By a monster. Ah, oh, remember that tower. Mom is taken atop the Maboots Tower. My boots, my boots. And then, so you make ladders with your rainbow shoes. You collect flowers and stuff for bonuses, and you use your wand to batter the fook out of the enemies. Extra game. And then you can pick up the letters to try and spell out extra life if you're quick enough. It's the Better Call Saul finale today! Oh, shit. Stream's over, friends. Gotta go get ready to cry. I think... If I... I think... Those rockets, from what I remember, if you hit them on the right side, they fly across the screen and take out any enemies that uh, are being pests. And that'll just for doom everyone. So, I can't remember. Do you have to pick up all the flowers for the bonus bit? Enter the tower to rescue your mom. The sharks! I remember the sharks! Bonk, 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 bonk. There you go. That's what I... <gasps> I pressed shoe, not... Ham... Wand. That's always, always confusing shoes with wands. I'm bad like that. Yeah, you know, use my special ladder, dickhead. Extra game! Yeah. X. X. There we go. Got X and A. Do -do 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 -do. Why do those sh sharks have feet? Miss Muscle says. Oh, they need something to put their shoes on. Two in that pile, there might have been. Man, 
such a cool game. Pretty simple, but... So colourful and... Joyful. Come here, you. Uh, smashed its face in on thinner. Do 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 do. Oh, the boss, the crocodiles! Holy shit! Whoa, that's that's that has just opened up a can part of my brain that hadn't been opened up for a while. That's for sure. Pan. Oh no, no. It's like kicking the fuck out of the hungry, hungry hippos. Go, okay, got you on your snout. Shout, shout, hidden the snout. These are the crocs I can do without. Goodbye. I'm crocking to you. Yeah, fireworks. Boom. A oh, crock. There you go. Boss clear. Bonus. So colourful. And bright. And jolly. Look at the little, little fairy winks at you and everything. You need a game to put you in a good mood. This one will do it. Oh, just need an R, and I'll have spelt out extra. Oh. Boom! Bon! everyone then. Didn't get many points though. So you kind of have to gamble between killing everyone quick enough and grabbing the flowers if you want the points. The... What the hell? Snake unicorns? Snoonicorns? Ooh! Piss off Snoonicorn. See, didn't get many points on that one because I didn't go and collect any of the flowers. The little rabbits, the unicorn rabbits. Bloody hell. I forgot so much about this game. Ah, oh, it licked me to death. What the fuck is it? Like a sea cucumber. An evil sea cucumber. Dip dee boop boo dee boo boo. Right, let's actually try and get some points. Don't lick me. Flowers. Oh my god, I'm 100% spending too much time on this game, aren't I? Oh, piss. I don't know what that is. The radish or whatever the hell it is just murdered me. Boom, dynamite. Yeah. Mom! We will rescue. No! Mom! Alright. As much as I want to play more of this. That's going to have to be for another time. Am I actually quick saving? Yes, no I am. Because uh, we've got a couple more games to check out on this cart. Some Dragon next. It's a horizontally scrolling shoot em up. And it was made in 1989. Brr! Brr! Woo! I'm a little drain. Now, I've definitely played this game before, but I think it was a home computer port of the game rather than in the arcade. I'm not 100% sure, though. 
whenever it, whenever I played it, it was a long time ago. Oh, okay. Don't crash into the ground. Dragons don't like it. I like this. I like the sprite of the the dragon and its crazy tail. So quite a few side-scrolling shooters on this cart, but. Uh, a nice selection of different genres, really. Both of these, both of these carts, um, really haven't had any misses for me. It's games, there's some games on there that I'll play less than others, but um, yeah, both. I 100% recommend both of these carts if you've got an, an Evercade. There's there's a lot of cool variety, a lot of cool hidden treasures in here, and um, a lot of great nostalgia if you've ever played any of these games as well. Look up, lion, the, oh, the shit, it's a tiger or whatever the fuck. Reminded me of a Zoid, that. Do you remember Zoids? Zoids were cool. Tiger, 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 tits. I oh, shot out the bung hole. Some good power ups now. I'm embracing my inner dragon. Whoop! Nearly got a shot there, though. Well, these things, they like robot apes. I think they are robot gorillas. Quite a crazy sunset in the background, got some greens to it. What's that? Is that a power up? It was a power up. Am I invincible? I think I might be. Yas. I'm dragooning everything here. Nothing. Oh. I was just about to say, nothing could stop me. <laughs> I drove my dragon straight into a pissing cliff. Okay, I'm, I think I'm invisible, so I'm going to go nuts. Go. Fuck you. This has got some Epidia vibes. Because... Everything's kind of like a robot animal almost, and Epidia, like all the enemies, are um, like flying insects and things. We've already had, we've had a worms collection on Evercade, so the 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 possibility of having a Team Seventeen Evercade car, surely that was bull. To get it? Surely can't be too far off. Um, oh, I don't want to. oh well, that's that's Saint Dragoon, Saint Dragon even, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Ah, uh, yeah, Team Seventeen cart with stuff like Epidia on and stuff, alien breed and things like that. That'd be sweet. Just saying, just saying, Evergate, okay, just saying. You've already done worms. You can do this. I had this on the Specky, pretty good port. Maybe that's where I've played it on the Specky. Ian, do you do any live plays of Warzone? Uh, I haven't done for ages. Uh, used to, but um, yeah, I haven't done for ages. All right, maybe they'll be. Maybe we'll bring it back at some point. Okay. Hey, Long Lash, didn't spot you there. Um, right. My Zoids used to battle my Transformers. The Zoids always lost, as they could be dismantled. Says Zomojo. Nice. Uh, all right. Here we go. Astaniax. Hopefully with the new home computer series of carts they're doing, an Amiga Team 17 cart can happen, says Akami DG. I'd love that. The Commodore 64 one is the first cart they've done. And I love the fact they're introducing uh, home console carts. But Commodore 64, come on, ZX Spectrum, what are you playing at? <laughs> All right, this one uh, seems to be another kind of Rastan looking one. It's a platform action game. Let's go straight into it. Because we've not got too long left. The bull thing. Screenshot memory, says Dog Party Guy. And yes, the Warzone still does require at least one million gigabytes, uh, Dog Party Guy, I think. Ha! Ha! 
Okay, let's put some coins in. Oh, when's this one made? Thundercato! This is the wrong bloody gun. But look. Gonna get killed, gonna get killed. It's, I've looked in the wrong... Three wrong booklets so far. 1989. Use thunder magic. Oh, I don't have any thunder magic yet. Okay, jump. Thunder magic, no thunder magic yet. Oh, fuck, shit. Fuck. What's that? Oh. Ooh, thunder magic! Oh, cool! Oh, I'm getting... I'm having a bit of trouble getting used to jumping and attacking and stuff, but... Um, what I like about this one... Is that it feels like you're smacking the shit out of these things. The sound effects are really beefy. And he's like... Oh, oh. Feels like you're, you're a powerful axe-wielding mofo. Even if I, a bat just killed me. <laughs> What's that? A plum. I got a plum. Not a huge amount of variety in the enemies yet. This is definitely a no jail co game. I haven't fought a farting dishwasher yet or something like that. Skeletons, though. How does it, the axe go on fire? Oh! Oh, that's cool. So, the longer you hit, the more power you do with your axe. And if you don't attack for ages, that green bar at the bottom fills up. And you can do a really strong attack. Oh. Well, you little bastard. Oh, fuck! That guy just mugged me off. Oh, game over. What the... Oh, piss. Well, it's nearly eight now anyway. This is a fun game as well. I'm going to play that game more. I'm going to spend a lot of time with these carts. Both... Uh, let's get them both in the console to finish. So, uh, I like both of these carts. These are both great. Uh, there's loads, loads of imaginative, like, strange, weird curios and cool retro stuff in here. Um, whether you like sports games, shooters, platformers, puzzlers, there's something in here for everyone. These two carts... Uh, proper good. Definitely recommend them. And um, uh, I'm going to spend a lot of time playing these off stream. For definite because uh, yeah, I enjoy I'm enjoying them a lot. The um, I don't even think I can pick a favourite. You know, it's both 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 are great. Sometimes I'll easily be able to pick a pay, uh, pick a favourite cart, but um, this time both both great. Really good ones, this this uh, release. Let me check. I don't know what the latest releases are, or the, what the next releases are. Evercade release schedule. Um, looking forward to Evercade in 2022, maybe. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go, here we go. So... Um, doesn't seem to be any dates on this pre-order. So the releasing in winter 2022 is Iram Arcade, which has R-Type on it, which is a game I've mentioned multiple times on this stream. And Toplan Arcade one is also coming up. That releases winter 2022. And Tiger Heli... Snow Bros, Guardian, I've not heard of any of those games on the Toe Plan one. The C64 collection. When's that coming out? October 2022. Okay, so that's sooner than the Toe Plan and the other one. The uh, C64 cart has quite a few games on it. Uh, only a few I've heard of. That's going to be interesting because um, I always, I'm like, boo, hiss. 
Commodore 64. But I've never actually played on many. I've got one of those C64 minis, which I've played a few times. Um, and then October 2022, there is also a dual cart, Alva's Awakening and Cathedral. I think I complained about that one before because the colour of the cart is different to all the other colours of the carts. And it, it's going to do my OCD. And <laughs> uh, But yeah, so... I guess the next Evercade stream will be in October when uh, the uh, Evercade Cart 27, well, when Evercade Cart 27 um, and the Home Computer Collection Cart 1 release. Uh, and then there'll be a couple more in the wintertime as well. But yeah, uh, as ever, thanks to Evercade for sorting me out with some review cartridges. Um, big fan of these ones. Um, so snap them up if you have an Evercade and you want some arcade action. Um, what have I got coming up this week? Tomorrow it's Terraflops episode 99. I'm not sure what I'm playing yet. I've got a couple of games I could pick from. So it might be one I've threatened to do for a while, uh, but I haven't for ages. Uh... Wednesday, I'm at a press event, but it's really, really... I've got to get up at, like... I've got to be on a train for, like, 7 o'clock in the morning. So if I'm not super tired, I will do some more... Um, uh, what the fuck's it called? Dark Souls VR. If I am super tired, then maybe I'll do Dark Souls VR on Thursday. Of course, we've got Friday's community stream as well. So... Do check those out um, coming up in the week. Follow me on Twitter for links to all those streams when I've got them. Subscribe to Platform 32 You'll get and ring the bell icon or whatever it is. You'll get notifications when I go live. And follow me on Twitch if you want to watch on Twitch. Now, I'm off to go and eat my dinner and play a bit more Rodland. So <laughs> have a great night, everyone, and I'll see you all. Oh, I'm doing a stream on Eurogamer tomorrow, actually. Uh, I'm streaming a new... Uh, wait, is it a new... I think it is a new Team 17 game after <laughs> talking about Team 17. I'm pretty sure it's pre published by Team 17. No, that's not how you spell it. Yeah, it's published by Team 17. It's a game called Thymesia. Which is basically like a, a like a, a budget or like an indie version of Dark Souls. Um, I'm going to be streaming that tomorrow from about 3:30 p.m. on Eurogamer. If you like kind of Dark Souls style games, come check it out. Uh, I've been playing. I've been playing. I've put a few hours into it, so I'm okay with it. But it's very it's very tricky. Um, so if you like really punishing games like that, uh, it's definitely one to check out. Anyway, have a great night, everyone. Thanks, Mods, for keeping us all safe. And I'll see you soon here on Platform 32. Bye-bye. <laughs>